It's here on Mirage. But we've got heavy utility on Knack to begin the evening. Even Shiz with a smoke and a flash to his name. Oof, Big try to take an initiative by going to the top of middle. And in doing so, Yell will open up shop. It's that armored P250, man. Yeah. He actually didn't see the second person cross. Keto. Keto is going to hear the decoy going off. See that. And I think they... I, I actually think they ran through spawn. They ran through spawn. So now I think mm. all the big know it's A. They made a mistake there. Yep. They gave away that audio cue because of Keto's position. He's going to hear this last player moving over as well. So big are, are, you know, with an expectant sharpness ready for this kind of a play. It's just a matter of performing. And Yell will add another kill to the P250. Tizian's position from stairs retreats into the connector. So they're offering over the space because Keto is the playmaker and he drops the bomb. The play comes to a grinding halt. Finally, Yell turns back around, but not in time to stop Keto, who's looking for his third. He's able to go for that hard. Now big on this, uh, after that win, we'll have Searson uh, post it up. They'll have the scout and play. Everyone will be buying. There's no armor here. Purchase up for MIBR. As I look to score a bomb plant. But it will be a difficult task. That it will be. Harder than a Rubik's Cube. I've never in my life completed one of those. Well, it's either people who know how to beat yeah, Rubik's exactly. Cubes and then people who don't. And yeah, people who do beat them don't have trouble. And then everyone else can't. There's all sorts of Rubik's Cubes too. Four squares, six squares. You gotta know the algorithm. Twelve squares. Here comes the boost in middle. So trying to chuck a man over, but Searson, nerves of steel. Just holds, lets that guy fly past. He knows he's got the supportive taps to clean up all these people. That's why I go for a gamer sleeve myself. Oh, well, maybe if you cleaned your mouse pad. We need to stop bringing that. I'm gonna stop telling you things. We've got the full buy up from MIBR. So they're trying to tell big why they need to be taken seriously here in the opening map. Knack trying to challenge around smoke here, throwing his utility over top. But again, these forward positions in middle from big setup is good. MIBR, woof, they've got Yell to take back a little something, but he loses 75% of his HP. And Shiz has not been able to exit from the palace. So nobody checked under Balk there. Do you see that? All those terrorists trying to cross into the bomb site. Much more tunnel vision towards connector, and it was an easy lineup. Easy lineup for our boy Gade. It's gonna be a money nade Ooh. and Damn. a money molly, and it's a space creator. All the CTs will start to move in. They've zoned him out. Will we go off a flash? No, there's no nades here. Ah. This is just a desperate situation. Yes, sir. Just two AKs and... Oh, I was going to say 68 health combined, but uh, there goes 26 of it. Damn, utility really making a huge difference in this three versus two. I mean, it was a chance and there still is a slight one, but they should be able to hide from him. Just swinging out a bit. Yeah, they, they just thought that because of the full mid control, there wasn't going to be anyone under Balk. Well, they were wrong. Because, you know, normally you'd have someone in CT, three mid, one B. So they just underestimated what Big were trying to do. Might have been a bait by them. They're going to try to get aggressive, but Tizian inside sight traded out. BRN, two kills off of the Desert Eagle. Searson going to quickly put an end to him, takes the head off the shoulders. But as far as MIBR are concerned, this is somewhat of a win. They've got their bomb plant. They've got their two kills. And the interesting X factor is an armored M4 on exit. Now, he's currently positioned on that deep angle over on bench, so he can keep Gade at bay. However, his teammate almost walks into this CTM for dying out to it. Tabson will fall to exit, who looked for his second, but that also falls short. Shiz able to offset the crosshair, so the nade is not a factor versus him, and time becomes an issue. But And then they also had the under Balk player to catch him off when they ran across the site. Ooh. Same situation. Damn, Knack not able to see Tabson. Tabson has the advantage of existing underneath the smoke. Yeah, they're really taking him to school with these uh, mid plays. So MIBR will have to try to find another answer for it. The lovely part about a team taking mid control from you is you expect to be able to win those duels on T side. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep trying to fight it over and over again. But I also wouldn't be surprised if Big kept winning.
chip on the shoulder of Big after getting destroyed by NIP. Made it look like the far worse team when they probably didn't have odds in that game. At least not by a huge margin. You get this little reposition from Gade going into window. An exchange of op kills here towards the A site. Searson's got to be cautious because Sandwich is occupied. Gets diced in two. Gade able to recover with two of his own. Chance for the third, but Exit's going to cut that down. 1v3 attempt from Exit, and... We'll see if they, uh, once again, try to do the same thing. At least establish on mid-control. It makes perfect sense to say, okay, if they keep pushing, we got we to gotta make sure they pay for it. Yep, that they do. Yo, this is ambitious. Already out from ramp, alongside BRN. And they will find their opening kill. Not to mention, we've got Shiz already pushed up Catwalk, so curious to see if he comes into the play, but Tapson looks to cut off this end of the map before he can find any impact. You can see him boosted on those rafters. Tapson still looking for an additional kill as Knack will activate into jungle, getting that kill at a bit of a distance. Again, though, this is one of those rounds where Keto's got himself a nice long flank, and with the bomb down on the ground, Keto's teammates can know they just need to cool this off. Keto gets checked. And yet, almost, ah, uh, oh, eventually rather, successful. Searson in with another op kill, and it starts to fall apart. It is only Knack left over, and he's had to double back. I thought it was Shiz, but in fact, Knack on Cat, all the way back around through spawn. It's been a long journey from Knack. He's weathered it for the most part, but he's going to have to put this clutch in his rucksack. Get that bomb back in possession as well. Player on default and another towards CT. Looks like Tabson's checking the flank, so they didn't really know where he was. He gets tagged up and basically is given this second chance at life. But just feels a little bit outclassed, and uh, I think it's the right amount of pressure, so... It's a nice play from Tabson. You see the confidence boiling over. Ooh, good flash. In combination with the aggression from the pistols, yet again. You know, this is the second time we've seen MIBR just use those aggressive pistol players. Kind of catch a bomb site slipping. Last time the retake was good, but I feel like this time it's much more daunting. It's interesting. They uh, concede. Yeah, they do concede, and there has been a good amount of damage done here to Big. So there are three players less than 1K, around 1K or less. Four, actually. And yeah, th this is a moment where you know three players have pistols, two have upgraded the guns, but some are low. They could stick around and try to get some exits, and they are doing it from a safe position, but they're not overextending and really committing here to stopping them because, yeah, big money's not great. So that's a good sign, positive sign here for MIBR. Good chance to kickstart. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Daddy long legs over it's here. It's a little overrated. It's overrated. Okay. So, same, same thing. I mean, a look on mid-control. They eat a frag. It's, it's Searson up in upper B, though, this time. Mm -hmm. And Tapson is still being very flirty around mid. Oh, my God. That's so much damage. Oh, he goes You're back. Kidding. And he gets it. But as he falls away, there's almost an equally successful smoke spam from the other side. This primes the two cat players to come looking to cull the tease off of the mid setup and Knack. Oh, plus BRN, both of them peeking into Keto. That is a crisp couple of headshots off of the AK and a very flat round for MIBR. Yeah, you can just see there are levels, you know. Ouch. Yeah, there are levels to this game. That is a, a nuts kill from Tapson. Didn't, didn't seem like there was much of a, an audio cue. I'm not sure if uh, that player who came out under pass Molly to window or if he had just walked up, but Tapson just said, hey, let me try this. Got some damage off and finished off his prey. Not much more to say about that. And it was a great attack off Cat as well. Two players there to cover each other. You know, it wasn't the tactics of Big that we put into question when they lost versus NIP. Right. I think the conversation was really around the difference in Indian. Hey. What's Maybe like the cursed Canadian scoreline? I don't you know. Do anything bad? Do you okay. mean like 3 0 upset in hockey or something like that? Like 3. I feel like we've got something. I'm sure we got stuff. Maybe, maybe once some. We're a self deprecating bunch. Yeah. Sweden probably beat us in ice hockey once upon a time. Maybe that's the most relevant, you know, upset. Yeah. Canadians don't like to lose when it comes to hockey. Yeah. Again? It's the same, same smoke setup here for Taps. He's got a nice little one way over the top of it. 
And I, it seems like he's not spamming on the time. They're also taking their time in underpass. Look how careful they're being. They're like, we got to go back to step one and make sure, like, no crazy plays can happen before taking mid. But it seems like the right response. Ooh, another one. Wow, the exact same smoke here. Awesome. Another one way for him. But it didn't seem like he had that much vision on the left side of the smoke. So I'd love to see what it looks like if he peaked it. This but also, coming. they're respecting it on top of this. So much time's being burned. Yeah, he's had two entire smokes to just try and look for that. Honestly, let's go one more. Well, it came from Keto off of Arch side. Problem is now it's dead silent from the T side, so I think that they still are aware of exactly what MIBR are trying to do. Now another one. And Tizian is already deep in hall, right? Cautious. Gotta be cautious. Tabson, if he dies here, man, they're just gonna... That's like opening the floodgates. And MIBR are gonna go rushing forward like a torrent of water. BRN trying to crash down onto this A site, but he doesn't anticipate Gade's position up on the balk, and Gade's even able to escape down underneath. Oh, like a troglodyte. He's able to just lock it all in. All right, so it's obvious what happened there, right? They did, they, MIBR wanted to respect the mid control. They're trying to approach it properly. I mean, it feels like a scrim for them almost with the approach way. to that A site. That's the unfortunate part about having uh, stand-ins, of course, is to stay coordinated and keep up that disruption on a high level is really tough, of course. Yeah, and the timing of the smokes too, right? The only smoke still up for Big was the one that kept their player locked in Palace, who wasn't able to do this. Finally, take Gade out of the equation on A. And as he dies here in the ninth, or 10th round, excuse me, his supportive player is falling off of the ticket booth, but now he comes back. Searson just on the other side. Tapson goes for another stairs peak. Oh, yeah, he right. snaps it down into Yell's face. That's just dirty. Searson's able to get one off of the off, but a fumble of the grenades leaves Tizian one versus one against Exit. Bomb is already planted, That's and Exit over. goes for a really quick reposition from Palace over towards Ramp. Bomb smoked off. Tizian could just simply follow through with this defuse, and the damage oh. is there. MIBR. Gonna try to do it again, this time with better weapons. Gade, oh, he got kind of lucky. We had BRN just look away. The support flashes. And then exit will get the best of him. So 3v3. But you've got big scalps already taken out of this one. Tizian, Searson, and Keto left to close. There it is. You could feel it coming. Yeah. Again, like another one of those standstill moments, Especially right? The smoke ops, spade, right? the silence across the site. Everything's just kind of on pause. And then, oh, oh. zero to 100. Yeah. Big take back. Bomb egregious. What bigger doing to MIBR? Bomb's been left in spawn. And it's not Tabson challenging along the connector smoke, but rather Searson instead. Tapson shot over his shoulder and just got a bunch of damage the other direction. Mm -hmm. So clearly we've got MIBR looking for this challenge. Will they anticipate the op walking up? There's no, yeah, there's no one underpass here to threaten. Searson at the top of mid. His shoulders Ooh. stop. You hear the flicker. Um, and Searson's a little bit too wise to even overextend, and they're not even going to come out to fight him. They're not in a really position to do anything but wait without the other impass presence and... I fear this is another situation that's going quite slow towards the exact same death, but um, yeah, here's a, here's a, I mean, I think they need, they need to try to influence a rotation or do some kind of hard commitments or, um, yeah, like we could even run out of time at this point if they're going to try go for mid control again. I just feel like I haven't seen at any point big being scrambled, you know, other than those two rounds where they just held W and burst into a bomb site. Look, look That's at the this. only time the CTs panic. Oh, Hall's of Smoke, there's a player A ramp. Oh, but he's in peak. Is he just making a little noise? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, throwing around some utility. Tabson will be called back into jungle. So it is very much on the shoulders of Tizian and Keto here towards B. He hit that. Yeah. Oh, and he hit that too. Right to the head of BRN, Tizian able to kill the first player who was tagged and then looks for an additional frag over top of the van. Shiz has gotten out and that's gonna work out wonderfully, but as he doubles back into the hands of Tizian, it is Yell to get his name on the play. There's no time. There is simply no time. You can challenge and fight tooth and nail, but time. I wanna get into that obvious territory, that's all. 
Got that raid boss AK for exit. The lieutenant to lead the troops. When the man in front of you dies, you take his rifle. Frag grenade goes deep to soften Knack. And Tizian walks away. But then we get the utility usage, which is good enough to kind of scramble Tizian's vision for at least that half second. But him and Searson going to lay down the law. Tabson's able to get into the engagement, and everything falls. Pistols and AKs. <laughs> Damn, have some sympathy. Nah, be re be, rela be relentless. Yeah, it is competition. Yeah, get in there. They would do the same. The good manners come at the end of the game. They would do the same. Yeah, definitely. Have fun, have fun, have fun, have fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've uh, got this upper B push going on. It, Searson's swinging this op around. In upper B, going deep now. Deeper! Go, go, go! Oh! Man. Oh, off to the Deagle, too. Yeah. Then Gade comes out from Sandwich, stops exit on his attempt to entry Palace. We've got two Ts coming in top mid. Tapson's grenades look to fluster them on their approach, but uh, maybe Yell can peel this player off the connector. Yeah, sure enough, Keto goes down, but Tapson, way too hot. He's got that incandescent AK. 13-2 is infinitely better than 14-1. That is a mathematical fact. And Knack hopes to bring it back. An offensive attack. Out from ramp. Yeah, he struggles to get the second. Tabson will find the better of him. Gade's going to be caught off by this Tetris player, but he Hello? actually kills the player on ramp first and foremost. Shiz will find a kill. We've got a 2v2. We've got a chance. And everybody should have a hope for MIBR to double up their round count. Things go silent, and they tap that bomb, hoping for the CT peak, but it's not coming their way. Searson is playing the long con. Bomb has been planted. They're not cur currently ready for it. No. Oh, and Tizian can support with this grenade. One Tetris. Insta. Blown away. Fire Wide bomb. swing. Damn. Oh, God. The thing about the half is like you could learn a lot. I feel like it like reveals so much about like what the difference is, I guess, uh, between a really established team and one that's you know kind of just like um, you could kind of see them learning on the fly, I guess, like learn how to work together because of the the stand-in situation. But yeah, all right. Well, big T side out towards a three on the site. Hold up, they need to get the kills. Keto, we're gonna get that one into the back of the bomb site. We've got a man over here towards the ticket, and Keto chases that down as well. So it's nothing but big across this kill feed. And now it's exit and BRN to try and tag this back from the CT spawn. They're in the depths. They're head underwater. And heads now. And when everything goes right, still rush B. Why not? Let's see. Maybe they could stop it. Maybe we can at least get a gun round out of MIBR, give them something to, uh, you know, have a chance to indulge. Oh. Maybe we can watch a little. Oh, he hit him. Hit his teammate. Uh, BRN's got himself a second. Come on, Deagle Ace. No, sir. Tizian stopping that one, dropping down into the van wow. position. And Yell's got that quick shot off of the scout. We've got it. Let's a go. chance. And Searson, well, he could just crush them. Their hope, their souls, their setup. He extends out into Yell first and foremost. And it's up close versus that Deagle as he looks beyond, trying to catch the other players, at least to confirm their positions. Now on half health, down to 10. Playing on hard mode, he will be swarmed and dealt with. And While we were kind of on the halftime pause watching back those highlights off mic, that like, you, you like that at least Apoka is always fired up for No it. matter what, yeah. He cares, right? Cool, yeah. Even with that round win, like some teams would get that and they wouldn't even, there'd be no energy in the room. Yeah, for sure. It's like they, they had already conceded their end. It's just a winning attitude. I got, I, I see smiles. And that's a level of, you know, competitive integrity that I'm all about. Mowing down the unarmored, unarmed terrorists at the base of middle. It's all on. Keto runs in. No. Nope. feel very justified at the moment. Yes. I thought, I thought, you know, you know, maybe they weren't, but they are, I think. Oof. Gonna get absolutely chewed up, spat out. Pick back up, regurgitated, and swallowed. I mean, if you just watch this round, you'd think that MIBR absolutely is the best team in the circuit. <laughs> oh, this game is better than Valorant. <laughs> watch to the top. 
of mid. And is there going to be a pick? No. Yeah, I was looking for some vision. Ooh. Ooh. Careful, buddy. I like the way Knack plays. I feel like it's energetic. Like he's always ready to, to get that big wide swing. Yeah, his aim's just a little bit like... It's just not like super there right now. That first half was an insane. Um, we can see already big just like, all right, we'll, we'll take over mid, look for their response. Kind of same deal as what MIBR were doing. And here Tizian can come up and he'll have a couple of nades for himself as well. Refresh that top connector smoke or smoke into window. And then they can go back and do whatever they want. And this, the idea here is just to make it feel like everyone's still around or, you know, just leave it in his hands to try to get the kill at mid that'll really sell things. But most importantly, stay alive, delay, and just leave a tasteful amount of presence while they can help, uh, while he can help them work on a split. You see, with no vision on mid, it feels nice like there's nade. so many here, but yeah, that's a great nade. Very well timed. For sure. Knack finishes off Tizian. Will they expect an extra on Cat, though, off of this? Yeah, or I was going to say, will the T's anticipate a man back sight? Oh, but three frags back from Big. A quick crescendo of kills. Make that four consecutive. It's going to have to be Yell with an astronomical clutch. And there's the first one. Is he...